In a previous lesson, I showed you how to substitute using algebra. We learned how to replace pronumerals with numerals. Now, I'm going to show you how to complete what we call tables of values. Tables of values are going to be very important for you later on. We're going to be using them a lot in algebra and also in a very important topic called coordinate geometry in years to come. Let's go through and I'll show you how simple it is to complete these tables of values using substitution. Here we have this first table of values and it has an X row and a Y row. Let's see how we're going to complete the table of values using the rule we have been given. The rule says that Y equals to X plus 7. Y is going to equal X plus 7. And we know that we've got to replace X with a number. X for the first one is going to re be replaced with 0. So 0 plus 7 and the answer is 7. So for the first one, when x equals to 0, 0 plus 7, our answer is 7. The next number, x is going to be replaced with 1. 1 plus 7, the answer is 8. Then x is going to be replaced with 2. 2 plus 7, 9. And as you can see, there is a pattern, 7, 8, 9. And next one, x is going to be replaced with 3. 3 plus 7, our answer is 10. So here, we've just completed a table of values using the rule given to us. We've replaced x with 0, we got 7, we've replaced x with 1, 1 plus 7 is 8, we've replaced x with 2, 2 plus 7 is 9, and we replaced x with 3, 3 plus 7 is 10. Using substitution, we worked out and we completed the table of values. Let's see what you can do here. The rule B is going to equal 18 divided by A. So the rule says B is going to be 18 divided by A. Now here, A for the first one is going to be 1. So 18 divided by 1 is 18. The next number, a is 3. So we replace a with 3. 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6. And the last one, a is going to be replaced with 6. 18 divided by 6, our answer is 3. Again, we completed the table of values. Last one, the table of values has a T and an S. The T is going to be replaced with a 4, a 5, and a 6. The rule says S is going to be equal to 3 times T plus 5. We learn in algebra that 3T means 3 times T. So 3 times T plus 5. T for the first one is going to be replaced with 4. 3 times 4. 12, 12 plus 5, 17. Next one, what are we going to replace the T with? A 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. And last one, we're going to replace the T with a 6. 3 times 6, we know is 18. 18 plus 5 our answer is 23. As you can see, the pattern is going up by threes for this rule here. Now, very important to remember that there is a times here. That's one of the rules of algebra, that 3t is 3 times t. So here, we completed the tables of values using the rules we have. Very simple. If you know your substitution, if you know your algebra, this is going to be a piece of cake.